Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. I slept with my sister's husband, and now she won't speak to me I want to apologize, but everyone thinks I'm the villain. I, 29F, find myself in a complicated and difficult situation that has strained my relationship with my sister, 31F. I recently slept with her husband, and now she refuses to speak to me. However, I genuinely believe that I am not solely to blame for the fallout, and I need an impartial judgment on whether I am the asshole in this scenario. Prior to the incident, I noticed some questionable behavior from my brother-in-law, 33M, towards me. Feeling concerned about my sister's well-being, I decided to address the issue with her. However, she dismissed my concerns, leaving me unsure of how to proceed. My sister works as a flight attendant and is gone more than she is at home. My brother-in-law recently lost his job and was feeling depressed. During one of her frequent absences from home, she asked me to keep her husband company. She trusted me and didn't believe the warnings I gave her before about his behavior towards me. But I saw this as an opportunity to support their marriage and help them rebuild their connection. Unfortunately, as we spent more time together, our bond deepened, and we eventually crossed a line that should never have been crossed. We had both been drinking, and he was complaining to me about the troubles in their marriage and how he hasn't been happy for a while. He was crying, and I decided to comfort him. One thing led to another, and we did the unthinkable. I woke up realizing the nature of what I did and immediately regretted it. We were both so intoxicated that we stupidly ended up falling asleep. I awoke to my sister screaming and hitting the both of us, shouting, how could you do this to me? We're sisters. I trusted you she wouldn't even give me a chance to explain and kicked me out of the house. Now, my sister refuses to speak to me. She has filed for divorce. Our parents are siding with her, saying that I violated every family moral. However, I believe that there are multiple factors at play here, and I am not the only one responsible for the breakdown of their marriage, while I acknowledge my mistake. I also question why my sister failed to address the issues in her relationship and why she left her husband in my care without setting clear boundaries. I do feel a sense of guilt and remorse for my actions but I also recognize that my sister and her husband had their fair share of problems. It's unfair to place all the blame on me when there were underlying issues that existed long before our involvement. That being said, I understand my sister's anger and hurt. I am willing to accept responsibility for my actions and make amends, but I also believe that it is crucial for her to acknowledge her role in this situation. Rebuilding trust and repairing our relationship will require open and honest communication from both parties. In sharing my story, I hope for an unbiased judgment and guidance on how to navigate this difficult situation. Update 1. Okay guys, I get it. You've ripped me apart in the comments, and yeah, I admit I messed up. After deeply reflecting on my actions and seeking advice from others, I have come to realize the extent of the hurt and damage I caused my sister. I genuinely regret my behavior and am now fully aware that I was in the wrong. There's no excuse for what I did, and I think I was trying to excuse my actions because the thought of it all was too painful. Last night, after reading the comments, I mustered up the courage to reach out and apologize to my sister. Unfortunately, despite my sincere efforts, she has not only refused to speak to me but has also blocked me from all forms of communication. The fact that my sister has taken such measures is deeply upsetting to me. I yearn for her forgiveness and genuinely want her back in my life. However, I understand that I cannot force her to reconcile or forgive me on my terms. I have sought advice from friends and family on how to navigate this situation. But it seems like the best course of action for now is to respect her boundaries and give her the space she clearly needs. I have continued to reflect on my actions and have sought therapy to address the underlying issues that led to my hurtful behavior. I found some online therapy options and plan on calling soon to get started to help figure out the root of my behavior. I am committed to personal growth and becoming a better person, regardless of whether or not my sister chooses to reconnect with me. I will never give up trying. I have also reached out to mutual friends and family members, hoping they might act as intermediaries or offer support in bridging the gap between us. However, I understand that they, too, must respect my sister's boundaries and not get involved in our personal dispute. My ex-brother-in-law has refused to pick up any of my phone calls through all of this. I heard from my mother that he told her I initiated the entire thing, got him drunk and then forced myself onto him, which is the furthest thing from the truth. I can't believe he'd throw me under the bus after I was there for him for so long. Guess I really looked like the fool, huh? The pain of not being able to communicate with my sister is devastating, but I am determined to learn from my mistakes and make amends in any way possible. I will continue to work on myself and strive to become someone who deserves her forgiveness, even if it takes a significant amount of time. To say the past few months have been insane is an understatement. I feel like my entire world has caved in. While I hold on to hope that one day my sister will be willing to reopen the lines of communication, I also acknowledge the possibility that she may never want to speak to me again. Regardless, I will continue to grow, learn, and reflect on my actions, knowing that healing and reconciliation are processes that cannot be rushed or forced. I hope my sister sees my remorse and my effort to grow. I will update if anything further happens. Some interesting comments. Medical Caller 2678 says, Your logic is that their relationship was already failing, so your sister should take responsibility. Let me ask you a question using your own logic. Let's say your car is older and needs some work done. If I come up and steal your car, GTA style, and total it, would you be at fault for the crash because the car was already failing? Or would it be me because I'm the one that took it and couldn't control the car and crashed? See how dumb that sounds. If it was failing, then your job was to help your sister get through this and guide her towards counseling or divorce. Instead, you guided your way into his pants. I think there's more to the story, and the more to the story is you had feelings for your brother-in-law for a while, 
and this drunk behavior made you act on it. You give off golden child energy in which you've rarely been held accountable. Oh, and if my comment wasn't clear enough, you're the asshole. Comforio says, this has to be a troll post, rage bait. OP reply, how am I baiting? Do you need to see screenshots between my sister and me? I feel bad, yes. My point is I shouldn't be completely at fault here. I'm not trying to be a victim. Screenshots of a text conversation with OP's sister, Lindsay, I am extremely sorry. I haven't been able to eat, sleep, or function since this has all happened. Regardless of you believing it's been ongoing, it only happened once. I take full responsibility for my part. I should have distanced myself from him when he was making advances before. I should have pressed it more. I shouldn't have given in. I was intoxicated. I wouldn't have done it sober. I take responsibility for it. I just feel that responsibility needs to be taken that it was already failing. You should have left him a long time ago or even believed me when I tried to tell you. Sisters reply, are you kidding me? You're always the victim, Kelly. Always. You can never take responsibility for your actions. I swear you could hit someone with a car walking on a damn sidewalk and you'd still argue it was their fault too for not moving. You betrayed me. You're right. I stupidly didn't believe you because I was in denial about my marriage, but I never thought that you would do this to me ever. I helped raise you. I was there for you whenever you needed me. I forgave you for the upbringing we had with you always being the favorite. You cannot handle the fact that mom and dad are siding with me for once. I never want to see you again. You are no longer my sister. OP's response, I am sorry. I never meant to hurt you. I am not trying to play the victim at all. I take responsibility. But why am I getting the most heat here? He's just as at fault. All I am saying is that you should have left him or been actively trying to fix the relationship, or it wouldn't have gotten this far. But that still does not excuse my behavior. I am the worst. I just don't understand why I get the most heat. Sister's final response, because you are my sister, men come and go. I am not going back and forth. I have a good life being the bitch that you are. Final update, while you guys are ruthless, I fully see that I was in the wrong, and my behavior is inexcusable. I do not deserve to have her as a sister, and I am literally a piece of crap. There's not a single insult you guys can give me that I haven't given myself. Surprisingly, my sister unblocked me, expressing her desire for closure and personal healing. It seems that she has reached a point where she needs to address the past in order to move forward, but she has made it clear that she doesn't wish to continue our relationship. We had an open and honest discussion about the pain and hurt that had accumulated over time. It was an emotional and challenging conversation, but one that allowed us to express our feelings and seek some form of closure. During our conversation, my sister made it clear that she has made the difficult decision to no longer have a relationship with me. She explained that she needs to focus on her own healing and well-being and believes that maintaining a relationship with me would hinder that process. It was a heartbreaking realization for me to accept but I understand and respect her choice. In our conversation, I took the opportunity to sincerely apologize for any pain I have caused her. I acknowledged my past mistakes and expressed deep regret for my actions. While I had hoped for a different outcome, I understand that my sister's healing journey is her own to navigate, and it may not involve me. Moving forward, I will continue to reflect on the lessons learned from this experience. I have come to understand the impact of my actions and the importance of personal growth and self-reflection. It is crucial for me to learn from this and strive to become a better person, even if it means accepting that my sister wants no further relationship with me. While it is painful to accept the loss of a close bond, I will honor my sister's wishes and give her the space she needs to heal and move forward. I will continue to work on myself, seeking personal growth and understanding, and ensuring that I do not repeat the mistakes of the past. This experience has taught me the importance of empathy, forgiveness, and respecting the boundaries of others. I am grateful for the opportunity to have had this conversation with my sister, as it has allowed me to gain a deeper understanding of the consequences of my actions and the importance of growth and healing in relationships. This will likely be my last update, as there's nothing more to say. I lost my sister and the respect of the people closest to me, but through all of that, she is the victim, not me. I deserve this. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share. I'd love to hear from you.